otherwise we get late at the very beginning and that's not good. Uh, so this is the second edition of a workshop that we started last year and we started the workshop with absolutely no expectation other than trying to get together and exchange views and ideas about things we find interesting. And it just happened that we liked it very much. Uh, we liked it to the point that uh, at the conference dinner last year, we set the date for this year's edition. So we said, you know, we, we got great enthusiasm about the thing, so let's do it again. Uh, for those of you who, who, who were here last year, they will know this, uh, but there are some people who just join us for the first time. And I'd just like to say what the spirit of this thing is. Uh, the spirit is to just get together and learn things from each other. So uh, there's, no, uh, there's no expectation for anyone to be uh, deep in technical detail. And actually, we very much hope that the opposite is true, that the presentations will be as accessible as possible. Because we, we, we're a relatively mixed uh, uh, group. Uh, an audience uh, for talks, and the group is mainly uh, is mainly built up with three three main areas, and those are economic theory and, in particular, decision theory, uh, mathematical finance, and mathematical and philosophical logic. So it, it, it is quite a wild. Uh, uh, group of people and it is essential that we try and be as accessible as possible to each other. So that's the uh, I, I'm going to repeat this uh, if I don't stop now I'm going to say this again and again and again. Let's try and and be accessible uh, to one another uh, I'll just say maybe I'll just let Massimo add something and I'll get back with some practical details so Nothing. I guess the spirit uh, is uh, as Eichel said uh, to be across uh, different areas uh, that typically don't talk uh, to each other. So there are kind of parallel universes uh, moving on. And it's good that from time to time these universes talk to each other. That was the spirit uh, of the initiative. So again, it's important that uh, we try to be understandable uh, to each other in the spirit of the initiative. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, last year I couldn't be here because I was sick. But I rem uh, Remember, it was a success. Uh, that's why we are here again. And hopefully, is the edition next year again. So, so. Okay, yeah. And that actually uh, allows me to say hi to Fabio, who can't be here, as some of you know. And, and we, we're going to miss him very much. So I, I suppose we have to think about a third edition just to get him back. Uh, on board. Uh, I, I just have to say uh, big thanks to the uh, former and current director of the Centro de Giorgio who mm, they were both kind enough to uh, generously fund this uh, together with University Bocconi. So that's, if we're here, that's mostly uh, uh, due to the fact that they thought this was an interesting meeting. Uh, so having said that, uh, I just would like to say something practical about uh, your um, registration folder. All registered participants should have one of these, and this thing has, uh, you will find a swipe card inside. Uh, I don't have one on mine. And that's to, uh, that will allow you to get into the canteen, which is where we're going to have lunch for the three days. Uh, we're gonna go, you don't have to know what it is. We're going we're gonna to go there all together. There's going to be a, a, a reception tonight uh, at, at about, uh, well, I think it should be 8 o'clock. Uh, but it should be on the program. And it's going to be in the inner court just down, downstairs here. And there's going to be a conference dinner tomorrow night. I'm afraid not. this wasn't very much emphasized in the emails. So there is, conference, uh, there is a conference dinner going on tomorrow night. And all registered participants are uh, invited, again, kindly, on the, uh, on the generous funding that we had. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please let us know if you'd rather have meat or vegetarian. I mean, I, I got uh, quite a few uh, options from you, but if, you haven't, if, you, if I haven't asked you, just please grab me and tell me what your preference is. Um, and I think this is pretty much it. So, uh, are we not ahead of time? I think it's just, uh, just time to introduce our first... Oh, well, one thing I should say before this uh, is that those of you who've been here last year will know this. We have three 
kinds of talks. And that's again in the spirit Massimo was mentioning about uh, just talking to each other. So we have two guest lecturers who will just open and, and, and finish the workshop. We will have a bunch of tutorials and tutorials really are meant to introduce people to uh, areas. Of course, there's a limited amount of things you can do in one, in one hour, but the idea of tutorials is that uh, you will, at the end of a tutorial, you have a pretty good idea of what a research area has uh, to tell you about your research problem, if you're interested in it. And then we have uh, work in progress se sessions, so the half an hour sessions. Uh, it's gonna be hard to avoid technicality in there, but we hope that the, uh, the work in progress presentation will give a pretty good idea of what people are doing or the kind of research questions they find interesting at the moment. So the three kinds of, uh, of presentations will be of this sort. And we will begin with one of our keynotes uh, 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 presentation and that's gonna be delivered by Didier Dubois from uh, Toulouse. And he's going to uh, tell us all about uh, all about, I'd say, uh, qualitative decision theory in the possibilistic setting. So I invite Didier to just get the floor. I think you should, uh, you should get this microphone.